Hi everyone, this is Damo, and I'm going to show you a video of replacing the CPU in a MediaSmart EX490 from Go to Woe. So first things first, we need to get the drives out of this bad boy. My drive cages are unlocked, so we take them all out. So step two is taking the top off. Now the top of the MediaSmart is uh, just clipped in, there's no screws in this section. Slide it forward and it comes off. And you'll see that they just have uh, just some little tabs there. The first time you take this off, it'll be stuck on there like no tomorrow. You've really got to give it a good pull to get it off, but uh, mine's been open a few times so it comes off fairly easy. The next step is in the top here is the, uh, the back plane that the hard drives plug into. You'll see there's two plastic tabs here that hold this back plane in and there's some uh, cables that run the front panel and some of the uh, some of the monitoring features so you just unplug those they come up fairly easy and these two plastic tabs you spin them to the side and that releases the back plane you'll see in the front there there's some gaps uh, that's the best place to grab you can grab the back plane and just pop it straight up You've got to push it up and back a little bit. And that's the hard drive back plane. So the next step is to take this front panel off, which covers the motherboard and the power supply in there. There's two very fine tipped Phillips head screws, one there and one there. Uh, if you've got a jeweler's screwdriver, that's probably the better option, but in the meantime, I've got a fairly fine point Phillips head, which you can get in there to get those off. Highly recommend a magnetic tip screwdriver for that. So that front panel there comes away and slides across and comes off. Now there is a connection there for the USB and power and, and status LEDs. You can just unplug that and take that off. As you can see here, this is the motherboard and power supply underneath it. It's all held together on one aluminium tray. It's held on by two Phillips head screws. One's just here and the other one is down here. And with those two screws off, the motherboard and power supply simply slides out. So here we have the power supply underneath with power leads running over and on top RAM, CPU, north and south bridge, all the connectors at the back and this large connector here for the hard drive back plane. So underneath his heat sink is what we want to get at. four spring-loaded screws. I normally recommend undoing these in a diagonal pattern slowly just so you don't rock the heatsink off balance too badly. You'll hear the uh, screws make a clipping noise as they come off like that. That's the heat sink off. And there's the processor. Now swapping the CPU is fairly straightforward. If you're familiar with any uh, LGA Intel processor, same sort of same sort of device. Small handle here, push down and out to release the holder for the CPU. Old CPU comes out. Now you need to be careful here, as with any LGA motherboard, these pins are very delicate. You need to be careful getting the CPU in and out that you don't accidentally hit one of these pins. There's one pin gone and you're dead in the water. 
So here's our replacement CPU. I'm just going to sit that in there very carefully. Lid down. Handle down. And locked into place. So the heatsink goes back on. Make sure you line your bolt holes up. The heatsink in the EX490 has a has a extended space on one side. You can see the the screws are slightly misaligned here. This space goes towards the memory stick. Uh, it won't actually fit the other way. That goes on. So, as mentioned before, I prefer to do it in a diagonal pattern to make sure that fairly even pressure goes down on the heatsink. So that's down there now, nice and flat, nice and flat on the chip. Now that's the hard part done, now we've just got to put it all back together. The tray just slides back in. Clip it in. The two silver screws that we removed earlier. The header plugs back in to the front of the front of the uh, front panel there. And again, metal clips go in the side. And that pushes back in there. And we have the two fine Phillips head screws. Next step is the SATA back plane. Again, slides back down inside. You may have to, again, get your hand inside to guide it back down into the slot where it came out of. That'll just click back in there. Reconnect the monitoring and fan headers. And Slide these plastic tabs back over. Lid goes back on. Hard drives back in where they came from. And we're done. Now that'll boot up as is. Um, however, um, a few guys in the forums, in some forums, have noticed that uh, if you install a dual core CPU, you do have to restart the machine uh, for it to pick up the second core. Um, I found that when I um, started this one up um, with a Q6600 in there. Uh, the first boot showed the correct CPU, uh, but only one core. So I had to restart it to get all four cores to work. Uh, but apart from that, enjoy your happily upgraded MediaSmart EX490.